Amagi Metals, where financial freedom is yours. We're going to be going into the Gwinnett Sheriff's Department to ask about the very disturbing procedure of forced blood draws that they have been using against suspects of driving while intoxicated. I'm not an advocate for people driving under the influence of drugs or alcohol, but here they're just saying if you're suspected of this, we're going to force a medical procedure on you. At the Gwinnett County Jail, every forced blood draw begins with strapping down the suspect on a padded table and putting them in a head grasp. Every time, whether they're compliant or complaining. Howdy. Hey. Yeah, I was just curious, um, you know, to hear your thoughts on the practice that had been used out here to forcibly withdraw blood from people against their consent. Uh, I have no comment on it. <laughs> Did you think it was a good practice? I have no idea. Did, would you participate, have you participated yourself in that practice? I have not participated. Would you participate if asked? I have not, I said I have no comment. But you, I'm sure you thought about it, right? So what if that had been like your uh, wife that had been taken into a cage and had blood removed from her against her will? Man, like I said, I had no problem with <laughs> Well, I was just curious to hear your thoughts on the forcible blood withdrawal that's been, that had been happening out here. I don't really have any comment right now, sir. So. Did you participate in that yourself, Mr. Mulgrave? No, sir. Well, what do you think about the guys that did? Did you think a little bit less of them? Do you think it was justified? They're just doing your job. I mean, essentially what's happening is somebody who hasn't yet caused a victim is, have, is being strapped down by strangers and having blood taken from them. What would what would that be called if I did that to somebody? Inmate services, the tower and journal. I don't know, sir. No real comment on that. Well, I hope you think about it. Well, my name is Pete. I just had some questions about the practice that had been used out here to take uh, blood from people without their consent. And I heard some of the people involved with this outfit were involved with that. How you doing? Hey, sir, I see you're on the rapid response team, and I know those were the, the people who were uh, doing the forced blood withdrawals. Did you happen to partake in that activity, sir? Well, I'm asking you a question. You're responsible for your actions, are you not? Mr. S-C-I-N-T-O, Cento, did you participate in that practice? in forcibly withdrawing blood from people without their consent? Did you restrain people? Did you put them in a head, head hold? I'm talking to you, sir. It's, who, it's not a department who acts, it's individuals, and individuals are responsible. Individuals take people against their will and bring them to cages who haven't harmed anybody and take blood from them and hold them down. I don't think that makes sense. I hope you think about it. So Mr. Cento drives a red four-door Silverado plate, PDI 3755. You guys write your number down because I'm making a report myself. I've been in here twice. This is the only county that does inmates the way they do. They tell you they can accommodate you and then they leave you in a cell right with everybody else and it's 30 degrees in there. I just got out the hospital yesterday. And they took me in there and I just posted bond. I came in this morning, but just those few hours and some people sitting in there for three days in that condition. I'm calling the newspapers and everything. Okay. I just got released and it's ridiculous. This, this is the second richest county in Gwinnett. It's no, in, in Georgia. Uh -huh. There's no reason they should treat their prisoners like they do. How you doing, Mr. Lane? Yeah, I was just curious to hear your thoughts on the uh, practice of blood draws that were being done here. I guess people talk to our public affairs officer. It's individuals who act, not uh, a public affairs office, and so individuals are responsible for their actions. So, um, you know, just curious to hear if you partook in the actions or if you think they were just. What What would you think if, you know, if I just grabbed someone off the street and brought them to a cage and told my friends to to tie them down and we took blood from them? What would that be called? Inside the county building, you have a print permit to videotape? 
We're waiting for somebody to come down, sir. Yeah, permit to video. My permit is that this is a public building and we have a right to film public officials in the course of their duty. And the fact that if you claim to be transparent and work for people, then people have the right to document, to, to create a truthful record. That's all the camera is, is it creates, it captures the truth. You need me to stick around or you need to um, No, you don't have to, no. What can I do for you? I want to thank you for coming to speak with us today. Of course. Um, our concern, one of the reasons we're here, is that we've heard that this county is one that has been implementing forcible blood withdrawals from people. We're wondering what the status of that practice is, if it's going to be continued. Well, I tell you, I would be happy to speak with you guys about that, but what I would ask you to do is to make an appointment. And I'm the public information officer here at the Sheriff's Office, so I would be the person to speak with, um, but unfortunately you've just arrived at our at our office without any appointment, without any notice. One other issue is there was a Sheriff's deputy when we were in here. Most of them have been very friendly, very cordial, but. Mm -hmm. One was very upset about us filming, and I don't know if he went so far as to make a threat, but he said, you need a permit or something of that sort. So yeah. I, I hope that, you know, there's understanding that we're in a public place and people have a right to film. And I see you guys have plenty well, of sure, cameras, sure. so. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad to hear that at least you felt like the majority of the deputies here were friendly and welcoming, so. Do you guys have permits to record here? Or? Not that I'm aware of. Oh. Not that I'm aware of. Hello, my name is Garrett. Yes, Garrett. What is it, your name? Uh, I was curious if you knew, uh, if you participated in, or if you knew people who participated in forced blood withdrawals from people here. Oh, sir, I'm not sure. But you can go inside and ask them. I can't be on film. Thank you very much, though. Alright, have a good day. I would hope that if you had colleagues that were doing that, that you would advise them against it, you know, because it does seem to see, be a, view, a violation of human rights. and. What's your name again? Garrett Ian from hey, freeconquer.org. Again, if you go inside, you can talk to them in front desk. We have to okay. make an interview. We did. We got okay, an appointment. Okay. Well, I'm really trying to get home. I'm sorry. I was curious if you participated in any of the forced blood withdrawals that have been going on here. Do you know of anybody who's participating in that? Okay, well, I would hope, like, if you had colleagues that were, that you would advise them against it and, you know, try and stop that sort of thing from going on. Because we've heard that that's been going on in this county, and it's, I think, a pretty disturbing development. Gwinnett County jailers have backed off a controversial practice in how they seize blood from suspected drunk drivers. A few weeks ago, I saw that uh, it was noted that Gwinnett County sheriffs uh, are no longer doing the practice that was implemented in January of, this, of 2013 with the forced blood draws against consent. Do you have any uh, thoughts on why that change was made if, in, if initially it was said to be just and necessary? Like I said, that when, when if we have an appointment, we have you know I'm not at a place right now where I can really discuss much at length.